Hello! How's anybody, everybody doing tonight? I'm running into stuff. We are here to try to fulfill the promise of <laughs> of yesterday's stream where we couldn't get the game working but I think I figured it out so we should be able to play the Sailor Moon visual novel on the PC Engine uh, that's the plan anyway I think it was just the the disc that I had it burned on was not any good so I reburned it on a better, older, <laughs> older disc. Oddly enough, it wants really old ones. Uh, like that's what works best. So, uh, I don't think anyone's here, so there's not really anything to <laughs> talk about. I will just go over to the game. Hmm. Of course it says no signal. I probably didn't push the button. Jeez. Oh, that means I have to get up. <sighs> That's irritating. All right. <laughs> I'll be I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. There we go. Now it's working. Yeah, there's a little button on the, um, the HDMI splitter. That it, it always switches back. There's, there's like four slots on it. Or should I say four, um, connections? And it always switches back to number three. And the, uh, the one for the retro consoles is number four. And I have to, like, I have to switch it every single time kind of annoying I know there's I think there's like a remote you can get but that won't work because I actually have two of them connected <laughs> in like tandem so if I used one remote it would trigger both of them and it just doesn't work so anyway on to the game I guess Turn this music down. I think I dropped my controller on the ground. Yes. Now I'm tangled in wires. I right, I figured it out. Just a moment. And I'm using the better... <laughs> The better PC engine? So hopefully A, it will work, and B, it won't be driving me crazy with its... <coughs> ...sounds. Because the CD drive on my other one is quite loud. Oh no! Oh, it's working. I can hear it. A little quiet. And this is, um, Nephrite, I think. I think this is, like, not canon, but it uses the... the same enemies... from the original series. They just, like, have these white masks on. So I think he's already turned, like, good now. And these are the evil monsters fighting him, even though he's also a bad guy, kind of. Well, he beat him. 
but at what cost? Let's say the moon. But her name means, actually, it's like moon bunny. Skino means moon, and Usagi means bunny or rabbit. Oh, here we could listen to the song. I didn't know it was going to be that loud. Now we'll turn it back down once the song is over. Kind of wish I had a cosplay for Sailor Moon, but I wasn't able to find anything good. There's an evil beam! <laughs> Our beloved uniforms and shoes are ruined? What? <laughs> oh, now we're mad. What's this song about? Tear action. I think I could actually make the screen a little bit bigger. There, now it'll fit better. Turn it back down. And I might need to adjust the volume like throughout the game. Because I think the background audio is like, or the music is always louder than, <laughs> than the voices. I, I'm going to start with, um, since there's nobody here to have any requests. I think I'm just going to go kind of like in the order of the, the show. So we'll just do Sailor Moon, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus. So you gotta remember their names. This is Usagi, uh, Amy or Ami, uh, Ray, Makoto, and uh, is her name Mina? I know that's her name in the English version. I actually don't remember if that's her name in the Japanese one. Oh, we'll start with Usagi. Usagi. Sailor Moon! Uh, oh, she's waiting for me. Oh! It's our friend! Is that, um... Molly? Right? I don't remember her name. Oh! It's Makoto! Am I supposed to be saying something? Oh, go now. Mako chan! Look how cute she is! Usagi, what's up? You sure are in a rush there. Uh oh, it's nothing! <laughs> that was a lot of words to say. What about you? Oh, you look all misty-eyed! 
Ask, what's up? Drop the subject. Stare at her silently. Um. Oh, that's weird. The white bar on my TV. Hello, Nebu. How are you doing? Welcome. You can't see this, but I'm playing it on a CRT, and this... That white bar along the bottom... It actually affects the rest of the image. <laughs> my guess is because that the electron beam is uh, much stronger on that white bar. And contrasted against the black, it's like causing the image to the left to like have a weird artifact on it. Anyway, we're gonna stare at her silently. Oh yeah, so you said um, right after you finished the stream you, fi you figured out how to do the rhythm game? <laughs> That sucks. Are you going to play it again? Now that you can stop just buying beer and actually do something? <laughs> you see... Something feels different this morning. Not sure how repeatable it is. Like, I just asked her to do karaoke, and this time she randomly said yes. Is karaoke the rhythm game? Or is that, like, a different part? I'm very excited for some reason. Hence the doki. Or doki doki, she said. Yeah, look at her face! My, oh my! She does karaoke and I do the tambourines or something. Oh, that's cool. That's the rhythm game? Neat. I still think you should probably try, and I, I think you said that at the end. Like a, a more dedicated one. Um, like Project Eva. I've never played it, but I've always <laughs> kind of wanted to. Also, let me know how the audio is. Oh yeah, they have it on Switch. Because I know the voices are rather quiet, and I kind of want you to be able to hear them. <laughs> Could this be love? Eh? <laughs> no way! Couldn't be! It must be nice to feel that way. It never happens to me! What? It doesn't? The other voices are quiet. How's the background music? Is that too loud? Because they are kind of the same. You can't really make the voices any higher. <laughs> so if the music is too loud, then we'll just have to turn it down and suffer with low voices as well. Yeah, what are you talking about? You have Mo Momaru-san. Same problem, my game, the music was too loud and the voices are too quiet. That is a very, very common thing in these old visual novels. Actually, in most visual novels, but they allow you to turn them down. Turn the music down in more modern ones. But yeah, in all these old ones, you can't adjust the volume because there's no options. So you just kind of have to deal with it. <laughs> Don't you have Mamor Mo Mamoru Usagi? Yada yeah. Ah uh, well, you know. <laughs> Mako Usagi. Uh, Recha Minako chan. Minako. Yeah, so it is Mina. Huh? Special training like today? Yeah, that's what he said. He's so selfish. <laughs> she, her eyes look kind of weird there. That's Artemis for you. So here's a plan. We'll pretend we don't know about it and go have some fun. Oh, let's ask Mako's opinion. What do you think, Mako? 
<laughs> I'd like to skip it, honestly. Yeah, screw training. Me too. But we have to tell Ami too. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> Ami, actually, I saw her earlier. She said she was going to the library. <laughs> Just like her nerd. Oh, come on, hand. What are you doing? Hold the controller. <laughs> So she's still at school! Perfect! Let's go back to school and ask Ami to join us! <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> what? Uh, that might not be such a good idea. Uh -huh. Eh? <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> I kind of got thrown out for trying to set the school on fire. I'm an arsonist now. <laughs> Just spit it out already. Oh, that's who, that is who it was. It was Naru, Naru-chan. That's her, um, friend. Come to think of it, I thought I saw Naru waiting at the school gate. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to avoid her. <laughs> was she waiting for you, Usagi? <laughs> Did we ditch her? Looks like you're onto something. Uh, let's... Let's play dumb. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Cr crazy. Quit playing dumb. Keep playing dumb. <laughs> uh, oh, my stomach. I cut it out before I get really mad. Isn't that like your default? You're always mad. You're like the Hulk. Do you see? Naru is waiting for someone wonderful! Is she? Someone wonderful, you say? His name is... Chicka Chicka Slim Shady! His name is... <laughs> Tell them! For money! <laughs> Let's bribe my friends! I mean, Naka, I'm kind of short on pocket money this month. How about this? I tell... Uh, you give me some cash and I'll tell you. <laughs> We're extorting our friends for information. <laughs> Are you seriously trying to sell info about your friend? Kind of. <laughs> hey, I gotta eat. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't care anyway. I'll just ask Naru directly. You inspired me to check out Renpi. Oh, you should. It's really easy to use. I mean, it's it's a little complicated, but um, it's much easier than most other programming things I've tried to do. Because a lot of it's built in. So you don't have to be like, well, I need to program a dialogue system. Which is what I had to do for Game Maker. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to point out that this, this system, the PC Engine, came out... Only a, a couple years after the NES. And it's got like <laughs> voices and digital music. It came out before the Super Nintendo. And like look at how good it looks. I'm so sad that this system wasn't more popular in America. And now doubt. If we do that my entire plan will fall apart. It was really good. What, the PC Engine? Oh, do you know about it? I think I might have asked you that before. Then tell us who it is already! This n <laughs> It's this nerd! Gudio Umino. Is that his name? Gudio? I think I had it or some... 
variant. I'm confused on its history. Oh yeah, the Turbo Graphics is what it's called in America. And it got some of the stuff. Oh yeah, I remember you telling me about that. You had Batman three. If you had them in Japanese, then you definitely had the PC Engine because they're not um they're not like cross compatible. Batman three robots at a Parasol game. The Parasol game was probably um Parasol Stars. Or like Bubble Bobble Part 2, I think it's called. Umino-kun. Are you sure you're feeling alright, Asagi? Oh, it ended with a three? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not that. Oh, yeah. So, it's probably Parasol... Parasol Rainbow something? The Legend of pa Bubble Bobble 3? Yeah, I think it's still called Parasol Stars. I could be wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and look it up, because why not? I got time. Parasol Stars, Topographic 16. Yeah, Parasol Stars, the story of Bubble Bobble 3. That's a that's a good one, I think. If you had the English one, it's worth $81. <laughs> it's actually kind of valuable. Uh, I gotta run an ad. Uh, hey now, I didn't mean it from my perspective. He's someone wonderful for Naru. I'd never date that loser. <laughs> but she's, you know, not a main character, so... <laughs> she just have to take what she can get. I don't get it. Even once? I can't believe you're a virgin! <laughs> Honestly, I have, I have no idea what she's implying here. That's right! Osagi, please help me out! Or maybe she'd have, he should, should he have the, like, the super nerdy voice? There's got <laughs> There's gotta be something you could do so I can walk home with Naru. But Umi now, walking home from school together is what couples do. You're obviously single. I know that's why I really wanna do it. I'm begging you. Help me out, Usagi! He lost it long ago, yeah. That, that's unfortunate. A lot of stuff from our childhoods just, like, disappears. They're like, well, probably lost it in a move, or like, a dog ate it. I can't believe Umino and Naru's relationship is still far, so far behind. Are they even holding hands yet? That, that's as far as I've gotten. Do it for Naru. Uh, I, I'd love to help him out, but I think he might need a miracle. What? What's wrong, Usagi? All right, all right, here's what you should do. First, get the hell away from me. Oh, 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do what now? Oh my god! <laughs> how, how dare you say that to me? <laughs> oh. You all right there, buddy? You're a genius, Usagi! I'll do just that! Look at that animation! It's on a day's work for Usagi, the Cupid of Love! Are there Cupids of other things? <laughs> I'm the Cupid of Caesar Salads! <laughs> Do as I say, and it'll be smooth sailing from here on out. Like the Titanic. Yep. Uh, did it sink? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I mean. You're gonna end up at the bottom of the ocean, dead and freezing. I say, so since there hasn't been any progress between Umino and Naru. That's right, I'm interfering. I set things up so they end up walking home together. Way to go, Sagi, you Cupid you. That's what I said, the Cupid of love. Teehee. At any rate, I'll, I guess I'll have to go myself. Uh, you can go on ahead to... <laughs> Actually, where are we going? <laughs> yeah, there's no point in going through all this trouble to skip this training. They're gonna find us and force us to work anyway. Now, where are your pretty little head? We already came up with something. Which is... Crown! I'm your queen now! Bow to me! <laughs> what does she mean by crown? Crown... Crown... Uh... Wait, what's it called? And I can't remember the name of that alcohol that's called crown. Whatever. <laughs> crown? You got it! That's where Motoki works, isn't it? Who? Are you sure it's a good idea? <laughs> what is he, like a stalker or something? <laughs> I don't know. I don't... <laughs> don't you owe him money? <laughs> is he even like trying to find you to shake you down? Uh, you know that's... That's where we usually hang... Oh, they know that's where we usually hang out. And that's why it's perfect! Like the saying goes, it's pretty dark under the candle. Is that how the saying goes? Oh, I see. You have a point. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how the saying goes. Amy would have known. Too bad she's not here. A anyway, you can go on ahead. What are you doing? She's waiting here for somebody? Oh, that's right, she was all, like, embarrassed. <laughs> is he farting? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> What's that sound? Uh, brave! Men are supposed to be brave! Oh, God! <laughs> I can't do it! Usagi, thank you for your help! Not that it's gonna work. This is the day Umi now becomes a real man! T today, I will! <laughs> I will go Super Saiyan! Walk home with Zyro! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Uh, everyone's staring at him. Uh.
Nani up in there, y'all. Yeah, I know. I've been, I've been avoiding her for like the last hour. <laughs> Man, I suck at being a friend. Uh, she's late. What's Kibu Usagi? Uh, Usagi has some urgent business to attend to. She, she asked me to tell you to go on ahead without her. Oh, Umi now, is that true? <laughs> Wubba Dubba Dub, is that true? Uh huh. Of course it's true. I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, oh god, I'm so bad at lying. <laughs> Look at my eyes! They're made of blue noodles! Do these eyes that lie? <laughs> Your eyes? Aw, oh, look how cute he is! Hey. Uh, since you can't go with her... Maybe, maybe we could, uh... Ah! No. <laughs> maybe we could walk the way up together! Yeah, sure! Yes! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> I did it! Brother, father! After 14 long years, I will finally avenge your death! <laughs> your gur Gurio finally did it! I can't believe that's his name. I'm looking at pictures of the console and maybe I had... PC Engine Super Graphics. What, really? That's the expensive one. I think. I don't, even I don't own that one. I've got, I've got the original one. Well, two of the original ones, the little, the little tiny box ones, the little tiny box PC engines. Um, well, the white one and the one called like Core Graphics. And then I have, um, a duo and a duo R. And then I have the little CD attachment that comes with something called a briefcase. It's like the interface unit. And and then I have the um, American Turbo Graphics that I don't use ever because it's like big and gets in the way. The history of the PC Engine seems really complicated. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a current stream Discord. I should kind of keep that up, huh? I totally forgot it existed. Holy crap! What the hell? <laughs> Wait a second. This will take... Yes. I'm okay with being taken there. I'm gonna put this on screen real quick. Image. Right, I gotta make this a little bit smaller. <laughs> Can I make? I can't make it smaller. All right, I'll just put it behind me. There we go. All right, let's look at this thing. Mostly this is just like a bunch of, um, logos and stuff. God, I can't see it, it's so tiny. Alright, let's see. 
spotted hammerhead. What? Oh, so this is basically just like a whole bunch of fun stuff over here. Alright, so I have this one. This little, um, turbo graphics there. And then this is the express little handheld one. And then I got the CD add on, etc. There's a monitor for it? Oh, that's cool. Okay, there's a UFO one that was mainly for kids. Yeah, so this gray one I, I have. The core graphics. Although I might have the, the orange one. Um, yeah, and I have this white one. And this right here, the briefcase. Which comes with this, um, or you can also get this CD-ROM, ROM-ROM. Hello, hello Josh, how you doing? I'm briefly looking at this, um, PC Engine thing. Hello, Dies Day. Welcome. How are you doing? Did I pronounce that right? Dizey, Dizey Day? We're very briefly looking at, so I'm playing this, I'm playing, um, Sailor Moon. Hello! Hello, Solo Wing Pixie! How are you doing? Welcome, welcome! Welcome, Raiders! We're doing good, how are you? I was trying to do this game for a charity stream yesterday and it kind of failed. Thank you for the follow! Should I call you Solo or Pixie? And, um, one of my chatters, Nebu, sent me this... <laughs> huge poster that says all this stuff about the PC Engine. Which I am a huge fan of. Just because it... It's, it's like a new system to me because I didn't know anything about it as a kid. And I was like, wow, this thing is amazing! It's like a... It's like a very advanced Super Nintendo, basically. Like, it's got CD games. Um, but anyway, hi, I'm, I'm Emmy Akina. I play a lot of visual novels. Um, of which we are playing right now. So let's see, yeah, I'll go very briefly over that. So I have this white one. I have this briefcase. I have the CD-ROM, ROM. Yeah, the interface unit right there. I, oh, I can point, right? <laughs> I'll do this. I have this one, interface unit. <laughs> The Pez Dispenser? Is that what that's called? I don't have that. Vacuum? I think they're- I think they're making shit up. <laughs> I don't have any of this stuff. Similar style to PC Shuttle. Oh, they're showing the controllers. Oh yeah, that one. So, no wait. I have this one right here. The Duo R, and this one, in the Duo. Stapler? <laughs> I think this is just a bunch of nicknames. Yeah, and I have this, this is the gray one I have with the orange text. Holy crap, laser active. <laughs> There's so much stuff. But you're right, it does look rather complicated. Well, because they did a whole bunch of add-ons. Oh, yeah, that uses these. Hue cards. Alright. Enough of that. Thank you for showing me. Do these things exist? Yeah, all this stuff. Very cool. Yeah, I really wish this had caught on in America. I mean, some people had it, you know, it's the Turbo Graphics, but it's, it was really not very popular. Like, I didn't know anybody who owned one. And I only remember seeing some of the games in like, um, in like a used game store, but not even like a big one. Like a little specialty one in like the mall. Oh wait, so you guys raided me. What were you playing? I should have asked that earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just get excited and talking about nerdy stuff. Oh yeah, thank you for the shot. <laughs> what would cat play dick look like? 
don't, 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 don't. I mean, wouldn't it? I mean, they're humanoid. Wouldn't they just be really a regular human? Would it? Right? Would it? Look I'm, at I'm pretty jiggly. sure. I mean, I've never seen a cat dick before, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are they? Are. <laughs> I don't know what what they were about to ask, but yes, they are spiky. <laughs> just just so you know. So you're playing. Oh, crap! What game was that? The Neko Neko Para? That must be the new one. That's not disallowed. Cause I think the rest of them are banned. Is that what that was? I have such a bad memory. <laughs> Nekopara is censored by default. I think there's one game that's not. If you look up Nekopara, there's one that isn't censored. Or, sorry, not censored. There's one that isn't, um... Isn't banned. That's what I meant. The rest are banned from Steam. Yeah, censoring is kind of stupid. I mean, I understand it a little bit, though, right? I'm not... I'm not completely against it. Because we would not have streamed, um, we wouldn't have streamed you and me and her, right? If it were, if it were uncensored, we couldn't have got, we couldn't have gotten away with that. And that's a really good game. And it gave us some of our, our redeems and such, didn't it? And a lot of our jokes, inside jokes. They're playing the one, yeah, the Catboys one. Hooray! Hooray! Let me know. Let me know. At least he's happy. By the way, Usagi, have you been considering how Naru feels about this? <gasps> what? No! Do her feelings matter? It's all about what I want to do! Uh huh. Why do you ask? I wish I could figure out what the name of the three robots game was. So was it like you you run around and like um like a side scroller and then you like transform into a robot like a samurai robot? Is it something like that? How? Oh, why do you ask? I'm just going to stare you down for a while. 2D side-scroller, and there's a red one, a green one, and a blue one. Oh god, no, did the game crash again? Oh, thank, thank god. The red one had a sword, the green one had a bow and arrow, and the blue one had something else. Really? Hold on. I think I know what you're talking about. So the uncensored version of you and me and her, my eyes get melty when I play it. <laughs> melty in a good way or a bad way? Oh god, why is my phone frozen? Well, never mind. I thought it might have been, um... Magic Knight's Ray Earth? <laughs> I think the title was long and in Japanese like Yu Yu Hakusho, Yami Shubo, Anku Butsu Kai. Well, then it's Yu Yu Hakusho, right? That's a thing. Yu Yu Hakusho is an anime. Anyway, I thought it was Ray Earth because that's the colors and weapons of the characters in that. Red has the sword, green has the bow and arrow, and blue has, I think, another sword, but it's, like, smaller. I just picked a random long name. <laughs> well, you fooled me. There's one other thing I think it might be.
Uh, what is this guy's name? Oh, I can't remember. It was like some, something or other in something world. Oh, maybe I'll remember it later. When it comes to your heart, nothing matters more than your feelings. Yeah, that's why I feel like I want to hook them up together. <laughs> Both because it's good game and it's full of content. <laughs> Sounds like you're describing the Power Rangers. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there's five or six of them, right? Powerpuff Girls Robot Edition. <laughs> yeah, Powerpuff Girls game that definitely came out like six years before they existed. Regret your actions. Let's ask Mi Minako's opinion. She's she's like a love fiend like I am. Minako what do you think, Minako? Mm -hmm. Huh, it's a complex subject. I'm not smart enough to have an opinion. Oh man, now I'm worried. Yoshio, what should I do? Um, think hard. Let's go check up on Naru. Maybe I should go see how they're doing. Good idea. The anime noises. Ah, uh, they were doing that earlier for sure. They're like, huh, huh, eh? Those eyes! <laughs> Alright then! Can you go on ahead to the arcade? Okay. Uh, okay. Sure thing. <laughs> See you later, Usagi! <laughs> We're gonna go have fun. You have to confront your friend. Dead <laughs> Moon! Save, yes. Which slot? I like that there's saves. That's another kind of new thing, right? That it has a universal save system. It's not just per game. It has like a backup RAM. And it also had a little card called Tenno Koei Bank that you could put in and transfer your saves to and from it. So if you ran out of space for saves, on your system, you could transfer them to the bank and then save more stuff. Naru smiling! I did the right thing! I wish more ex arcades existed. Yeah, it kind of sucks that they're all gone now. I used to do that as a kid like all the time. Spent hours at the arcade. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> Nebu! I remember you saying $3 a credit. You were like, oh my god, that's ridiculous. Did you ever play DDR in the arcade? Because that's what it cost. It was very expensive. Actually, it was $3 to begin with when I played it. And then when the newer ones came out, they went up to $5. I mean, you got three songs, but still, it's a lot of money. The arcade I went to was 75 cents for three songs. What? They really jacked the price where I live. Jesus. Yeah, it was like $3. Like, you would only get like... Um... You would get like maybe... Like a few sessions. If you had like... If you brought like 15 bucks. I remember doing that. A super sketchy arcade that was 10 cents for three songs? Jesus. Did the thing work? 
Did it give you tetanus when you stepped on it? Looks like things are going well! You wanna play there, but I was scared of all the adults smoking and standing around, <laughs> staring, yeah. There's two or three game tokens for me? What the hell? <laughs> Why is it so expensive here? Oh, maybe I'm remembering wrong. Maybe it was a dollar fifty per person? It might yeah, maybe that's what it was. Maybe I was thinking it was three dollars because I always played with someone else. So I was used to it being three. No need for me to butt in then. Alright, what do I do now? Watch some more. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of choices in this game. I don't- I think maybe they actually matter. <sighs> Funny thing is the DDR machine is still at that arcade. <laughs> There's still an arcade open? Especially arcades that have a built-in restaurant, which seems like the type of arcade in your story. Yeah! I- I've never actually seen one with a built-in restaurant. I just thought, like, it sounded cool and I didn't want them to have to leave. <laughs> I also realized there's a lot of stuff that needs to be rewritten. Like, um... How you said you weren't sure, or you are like, Oh, this isn't Alex then. When- when you- when he goes back down in the- in the bunker. You're... You're not supposed to know whether or not it's him. So I'll need to write that more ambiguously, I think. Sorry to potentially spoil stuff. Let's watch some more. Hold on! <laughs> this could be fun! I'll keep watching just a little longer. See you, Umino! Well, I'll see you tomorrow! Yeah, Alex had no friends and the person was like, I'm gonna die, let me reminisce. Yeah. That did kind of give it away. They're not even holding hands! So boring! I was hoping to see some flirting or something! But they sure are pure and naive! What a waste! Not even I ever get the chance to walk home with Mamo! Because he doesn't go to your school. He doesn't go to school at all. He's too old. Oh? What would you do? If, if we did, we'd probably... <laughs> what is she thinking? Hello, Jinzoka! How are you doing? Welcome! Thank you for the raid! Welcome, welcome! Yeah, shout him out! What is this game? It looks like Mega Man! And Buster! Robo Raid! <laughs> what a cool voice! That one is 30 XDX. So it's like, um... Let me turn this music down a tiny bit. So it's like, um, like an, uh, a more modern Mega Man style? As you can see, we are playing a Sailor Moon visual novel game on the PC Engine. It's a roguelike spiritual successor to Mega Man. Roguelike? Wow. So, like, you get a new character or the, the areas, like, change? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Roguelike Mega Man sounds super cool. 
I haven't played a Mega Man like game in a long time. Item drops and area shift around. That's so cool. I think the last one I played was um kind of like this old school looking one. It was like um it's based on a popular one. Um but they gave you a bunch of different characters. God, I can't remember what it's called. It's on Switch. Oh, so what were you streaming today? And how'd it go? <laughs> Drool! Oh my gosh! Uh-oh, what's happening? Were you really? Final Fantasy Tactics? Holy shit! <laughs> Have you played it before? That is seriously one of my favorite games of all time. Like, probably easily in top 10. I've played it <laughs> so many times. Yes! I know what I must do. Hello, Carbine50! How are you? Welcome! Yeah, it's one of the best of all time. I love it. It's up there with like that and um, Symphony of the Night. What am I looking at? Is that a backpack? <laughs> Sorry, my my screen is um, the chat window is very small, so I can't tell what it is. Oh, it's ducks! Yeah, in water. I see them. That's adorable. <laughs> it's labeled duck butt. <laughs> well, it's a shoe fits. It's from Seger. Seger. How are you doing tonight, car carbine? Carbine? Oh look, nephrites are like, eh? <laughs> you like the you like the weird red egg on my shoulder? Thank you for the follow, Jinzoka! Big chillin'? Hooray! Me too! Sunday night's a good night for that. I guess it's technically Monday now. Second DNF Duel PlayStation Open Beta is finally here! April 1st to 4th. I'll have to check that out. You have to sign up for it? Oh, in an Open Beta. Oh, he's so cute! Wait, those are yours? Carbon 9 burb noises? That's a little budgie, isn't it? I have pet birds, too. Um... Two cockatiels. No. Nah. Are you a Are you a bird? Twitch? <laughs> a bird VTuber? Bird, bird tuber? Neferito! I love them little chickens. Yeah! Cute baby chicken! Have you seen those videos with, um, Pixel and... I don't remember the name of the other one. Where he's like, <laughs> Hey Siri, <laughs> tell me about parakeets. Cute baby chicken! That's nephrite! Rush over! Tail loot! Panic! <laughs> Let's panic! What should I do? I can't help but worry! I need to do something! I'm panicking! <laughs> Cause somebody chose! Some asshole chose the panic button! The bunny! Mallow, ch Mallow champ! Wait, do you stream too, Carbine? If you do, we'll shout you out too. Keep panicking! <laughs> what should I do? Okay. Um. God, do I tell Luna or rush over? Uh, 
um, if you're a moderator, there should be like a button called clip that or something. <laughs> I think anybody could do that. It worked. Oh, is this in it's VR? Cool. Is there Minecraft VR? That sounds amazing. It's happening, dude. Cool. I, I guess we'll brush over. Tai Hen! <laughs> Is that what you're worried about? It's goofy. So you were streaming on Christmas? I think I did that too, actually. I think I was doing like, um, karaoke. Come to think of it, I stood her up today, so I can't save her from this villain. How's she gonna react if I come up to her now? Are you good at VR games? No. I just very recently got um, the Quest 2, and I played Phasmophobia a little bit with my friend William. Um, it makes me sick pretty quickly, though. And I don't know, I, I wouldn't say that I'm good <laughs> at anything you can play in VR. I do enjoy it, though. VR is very fun. Like, being in a weird, like, <laughs> low-poly world. Doshio! But I can't ignore this! Oh, what do I do? I streamed as a hobby for fun, now I'm affiliate, and I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. Yeah, exactly! That's some of the fun of streaming, right? Like, I've actually been streaming since... 2019? And I've been, um, VTubing since August. And I only made... Uh, affiliate... I think... In... January or February? <laughs> and I'm still like, yeah, I don't... I don't know, I'll just play games, you know? <laughs> I mean, I did put all this stuff up, this, like, cheer and subscriber and such. Wait, why didn't it update? Hmm, that's weird. It shouldn't say Noble Decoder. Oh, thank you for the follow, Carbine! Re restart session? I wonder why the follower isn't changing. Hmm. I'm gonna... <laughs> real quickly just try to fix that. Because I just noticed. Most recent follower. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's broken. I'm just gonna try closing and reopening and see if that works. If not, that's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, it's broken. <laughs> Did you know Danganronpa has a VR demo? How's that work? Do you like, do you like throw the truth bullets at them? I usually stream with my bird. I mean, she has a large vocabulary and I let her interact with the chat. That is so adorable! I've thought of doing that before, like... But they don't... They don't talk very much. I, I, actually, they don't really talk at all. They just... They just do singing a little bit. Cockatiels aren't really known for speaking. But they can whistle a couple things. Um, but I think... <laughs> <laughs> they like to fly around. They're flighted. And I have a lot of wires around here with all the the retro consoles. And they do like to chew them. And they will get... They will chew through them very quickly if I'm not watching them. So it seems 
like a fun thing to do, but I think it would turn out badly for me. I should check that out sometime. Let me go ahead and... Hmm, is there a way to follow from here? Mm, no. <laughs> there is not. But I'll just go to the channel. Follow! And I'll follow Jinzoka also. Especially if we're playing Tactics. Avatar is so cute. Oh my god. You're adorable. Alright, I'll have to watch that later. Characters throw words like in the class trial and interact with them. They also experience Makoto's execution in Chapter 5 of Danganronpa 1. Spoilers! <laughs> That's cool. You get crushed. Eh? Got it. They're already gone? You were standing there talking to yourself. Sky tends to just chill around me when I'm home or I have her properly flight trained so I have her cage open usually 24-7. Oh that's cool! I have like a specific room for them to live in, so they don't just have a cage, but they also can't fly everywhere else. Cause they could fly and and be fine. But <laughs> like I said, they like to destroy things. Oh, that's adorable! From her blue and white belly. Aww. Budgies are so cute. Make all those little squeaky noises. Almost like... <laughs> they sound like tiny robots. I'm home! Oh, it's Luna. I'm home. Where were you, Luna? Something big just happened! Usagi, you skipped training today. Get. Get. That's not important right now. Listen. How many things are your burbs destroyed? Well, hmm. <laughs> not too many, like, important things. They destroyed my phone cases for sure. Um, they eat the... The little rubber thing around, if you have like a laptop and it's got that, that little rubber seal that goes around the lid to keep it from pressing into the keyboard, they chew that off. They've eaten through uh, phone cords, a power cord, for, for something else, a extension cord. They chewed through the internet cable. <laughs> the, I routed an internet cable to my bedroom. And they just chewed through it in like a matter of minutes and ruined it. <laughs> it's like a hundred foot cable. So thankfully nothing important. Because <laughs> I learned pretty quickly how destructive they are. If what you're saying is true... That may... We may be dealing with something much bigger than we first thought. Super healthy, but no bigger than the palm of my hand. So I'm not worried about her getting up to mischief. Yeah, budgies are like, like tiny, like this big. <laughs> anyway, we should tell the others. <laughs> Why is she so excited? 
Oh yeah, they're super loud. They need to eat more vegetables or watch TV. <laughs> but... To get up to more mischief? I know, right? This is big! Is U Ukiko her mom? Your dad brought home some cake. Cakey. Cakey. Taught her to say stinky. <laughs> oh, to distract them from having chaotic fun. Oh, my birds. Yeah, they like, um... They like watching... Uh... Anything on a phone? Actually, they like the phone too. And they're in love with corners. So like, corner of a paper, corner of a phone or an iPad. Uh, and they especially love like sheets or covers. Like, if you start moving around like a sheet or covers, they'll start like whistling to it. They do like the And then they'll they'll sing um, the Chocobo song and uh, and the victory theme from Final Fantasy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ow! My bones are broken. They sit on her laptop and watch the streams. Can she be with you right now but she's asleep? Aw, that's so adorable. Yeah, they definitely sit on me like all night. Cause I, I have like, um, bird time. So I go up and spend like two hours with them every day, at least. And they'll, they'll watch Twitch with me or YouTube or whatever I'm doing. Jump around, <laughs> they always like jump around and walk all over the bed. They do like this little backward dance thing. They like bit their head on the fl on the on the ground and then walk backwards. They're very weird, but entertaining. Yeah, and they'll fall asleep on you. That's adorable. They do. Mine do like the little half sleep. They they close one eye. That's called like micro sleep. So they'll fall asleep like half their brain falls asleep. It's very weird. Oh, little peeps and squeaks. That's so cute. I don't know if you ever felt like um showing any videos. I have a Discord that you could um you could join and and share videos there. I'm pretty sure I just um very recently shared some um. Oh, I, I wonder if I have a command for it. Let me see. I don't think I do. <laughs> no, I do not have... I do not. Alright. I will just get it from here. Yeah, I'm usually, um, I'm usually wearing my maid outfit, so that's why it says Maid Menagerie. If I haven't posted any recently, I will soon. There, we have a video of him. <laughs> he makes this sound like an engine starting up. He's like... Welcome, Sky of Roses! You wish you had a fox or a deer for a pet. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like that wouldn't be legal in most places. Ah, uh, yes, Skinu residents! Oh, Naru! 
Oh, you're in horrible danger and your friend ignored you? Hold on a minute, I'll get her. Aw, it comes from the flower you had in Sky's cage. It's so it's so nice to hear that you care so much about your bird. I feel like a lot of people don't they get pets and they don't really care enough about them. They're just like, yeah, it's they're there. <laughs> they're kind of like when when I wanna when I wanna spend time with them, then I'll care about them. Oh. He's so cute! I like their puffy little mustachios. Mine have that too. It looks... They, they like puff out their face and they look like a president from like the 1800s. Usagi! Naro's on the phone for you! <laughs> she got cake all over her face. Ah. Uh. Sailor Moon! Hello, Moisty! How are you doing? I mean, Comfy Envy. How's it going? Oh, that's your new name? That's great! Is it- does it mean people are envious of you because you're comfy? Or are you envious of comfy people? How's your night going? Or morning, or whatever it is. I'm not sure where you live. <laughs> It might not be night. I'm telling you, it's true! The villain came up and... <laughs> and kidnapped my friend, and I did nothing! And then I went home and ate cake! Yeah, what? What? <laughs> oh, I should have done something differently? Oh. If you're on my Discord, you should check out the uh, pictures of whatever. There's some adorable birds in there now. He's so pretty! Or she. I just thought it was a cool name. That works too. I saw in my own eyes! Yeah, see? He's dead. I knew it. It's hard to believe. Nephrite is dead. You saw it yourself, Usagi. It's possible that someone pretending to be him. It's a fact that the dead cannot come back to life. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Yes, we know. Wait a minute. Why do you have to be like that? Where's the Discord link? There you go. I meant to have a, um, a bot thing that does it, but... You've been invaded by the bird picks! Thank you! I love them! Oh, the one with him in the little... The little bear! <laughs> That's so cute! <laughs> Thank you for sharing! Nephi risked his life to get away from the enemy! Also, they could let me know someone's after the silver crystal! Uh, yeah, and he also... <laughs> he also sacrificed his life to save your friend! For anyone who hasn't seen Sailor Moon, what they're referring to is, um... One of the villains in the show... Like, went... Fell in love with her friend and then kind of went turncoat? And, like, became... Good. So, helped her. And then the enemies attacked him and killed him. Besides, no matter how convincing a faker might be, there's no way he'd fool Naru. <laughs> They're like, I don't know. She's not particularly smart. Hello, Super. How are you doing tonight? Welcome. Nobody's got anything to say! <laughs> what? She sticks them in your hair? That's so cute! Mine just throw them on the floor. 
<laughs> after chewing on them. Oh, yay! Thank you! Wait, did that audio not work? I feel like I didn't hear it. Ah, crap! Why can't I hear it? <laughs> Thank you so much! But where? Where audio? Why audio not work? Is, do I need system volume on? Oh! Could you hear it that time? I'm gonna try it again. It seems very quiet. MEM Redeem story time. Okay, here we go. Um, I gotta run an ad first, so let me go ahead and do that. And then we'll have plenty of time. In the meantime, I'm gonna turn down this music and see if I can figure out what's wrong with the audio. Why it's so quiet. Is it... I wonder what, what it's attached to. I can't tell. <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff at myself. I wonder if they updated it and now it's like super quiet. Because I know they updated it. <laughs> Thank you. Banana for scale. Yeah, they're so quiet. That's weird. I guess I'll have to f mess with this later. so strange. Hmm. Oh, what? <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Alright, I'm gonna check one... F one last thing. No, that's all the way up. Hmm. The bananas for sale! Alright, whatever. I'll mess with it later. Alright, so it's a random job story. Let me find... Let me get my list. So what this redeem is, for anyone who hasn't seen it, is I've had many, 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 many jobs. <laughs> um, the current list is 46 long, but I know that's wrong. Because I counted them in like 2012, 2013, and I had 50 on the list. And I've definitely had a couple since then. Yeah, pet the bunny! Wait, I could do that. Uh, so, so what this redeem is, I pick one at random, and then I just tell you about it. And some of them are... <laughs> some of them I only had for a very short period of time, so... <laughs> some of these stories will not be very entertaining. But eventually, I'll tell all of them, I guess. Alright, so let's see. We got 45 on the list currently. Number 41, and these are not, not in chronological chronological order. 
I just wrote them down as I remembered them. Uh, well, it's Radio Shack. <laughs> Not really much to say about that one. Um, yeah, I got a job at Radio Shack. Um, somebody I knew from Magic the Gathering worked there. And so I worked with somebody I knew. I think I was there for like a week, maybe. Our big thing was selling um, batteries. Like for whatever reason, they really, really, really wanted you to push batteries. Like a lot. And cell phones, I guess. But I wasn't, you have to be like authorized. You had to do like training to sell cell phones. And it was also extremely dull. One of the dullest jobs I've ever had. Because uh, I think usually only like only like six to ten people would show up the whole time. So you'd be standing there for like hours doing literally nothing. Like, you'd, you'd start, like, reading the, like, like, the circular. You're like, oh, let me flip through these pages. Let's read about the stuff that's on sale in, in Radio Shack. I don't remember why I quit. Probably just because it was really boring. I mean, obviously, I, <laughs> I quit because of my, um, I have a PTSD, basically. I'm sure it was something to do with that. Maybe the manager had done something or said something. I honestly don't remember. Because I was there only for so so little amount of time. So at least it's not a bad story. But that's that. That's the story of Radio Shack. <laughs> not much to tell. Mako Minako, what do you think? I don't know what to say. We miss you, Radio Shack? I, I really don't. I never had... Like, any time I went into Radio Shack, it was because I needed, like, something right away. But it was always so expensive. It would be like, oh, you're buying a little audio cable, and it's ten dollars. Guess what? If you buy it online, it's fifty cents. They were a huge ripoff. Thank you for the story and RIP to Radio Shack. <laughs> never been there, never had a reason to. Yeah, they they were only mediocre. I mean, I think back in the day, like if you're talking about like the '80s or before then, they probably had like a lot of cool stuff in there. Like I know they used to sell like parts. Like, electronic parts that you could, like, put into stuff to, like, repair it. But I think they stopped doing that, like... At least Blockbuster is still alive? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Technically. The same way that someone, like, in a coma for the rest of their lives is, is alive. Vaguely into doing, like, custom electronics after Radio Shack closed, so it kind of sucked. But you could still buy stuff online, right? Which is probably faster and easier, to be honest. Yeah, there's only one in like, um... I want to say it's in like... Minnesota? Or something? Michigan? Ill Illinois? I don't remember. I alert because I work tomorrow and should probably go to sleep. Okay, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for joining the Discord and for the follow and for sharing all the cute bird pictures. And obviously for the conversation. I hope to see you again. Bye! Oh yeah, before you go. <laughs> Duck butt! I've never actually met Nephrite. I don't know what kind of person he is. A villain? Besides, who is the new enemy he ran away from anyway? Uh, 
Why are you so happy about that? <laughs> Look, I didn't really get all of it. I kind of don't care. I just know that someone after the Silver Crystal, Queen Barrel's Dark Kingdom is back. Alright, so this takes place after, I guess? After they beat Queen Barrel? And Nephrite's in big trouble! Eh? In other words, a new foe wants to obtain the Silver Crystal. And thus they've resurrected Queen Barrel and her four heavenly kings to use as pawns in their plan. We don't not yet know the identity of this new threat. Nor what they do to intend to do with the silver crystal. I'll be amazed if Blockbuster manages to revive itself and reach its former status. <laughs> I, I would just assume we've gone back in time to 1993 if that happens. I think that's completely impossible at this point. Like, the internet would have to, like, implode. Like, if the internet disappeared, then yeah, Blockbuster could definitely come back. <sighs> Since Nephrite is aware of Usagi's identity as Sailor Moon... He risked his life to to leave their organization in order to inform form her of their plan as soon as possible. <laughs> Hello, Dougal Drop. How are you doing? The Blockbuster 2028 liquidation sale gonna be crazy. <laughs> you mean they're gonna close and they're gonna have like, well, we've got um, we got a couple DVDs, I guess. <laughs> We're just one store. What do you expect from us? How are you doing tonight, by the way? Oh, I still got my... <laughs> uh, that's not supposed to be showing up. That was for my charity stream yesterday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go turn that off. My bot's still showing my... My charity thing. Turn that, turn off. D disable. Disable. How come I can't disable it? Delete. Alright, I've turned off the charity timer. <laughs> yeah, go to Pet Stream Elements, you're drunk. I like that little squid. That's adorable. When you consider Nara's involvement, we can assume that Nephrite has turned over a new leaf. Is what Usagi's trying to say correct? I think Blockbuster failed due to their competition with Netflix. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Well, that and... They, they were kind of like, the internet is not going to ever be good enough for... Um... For, like, watching movies. And, like, that's really where they failed, like, hard. And Netflix kind of, like, really leaned into the, like, streaming and virtual stuff. Whereas Block Blockbuster was just like, now nah, we got DVDs. Yeah, we'll keep sending them through the mail. Yeah, yeah that's exactly it. I'm impressed you could glean all that, Luna. <laughs> Let's just say I've known her too long. Netflix and Hulu ate their lunch in the late 2000s? Yep, I remember that. I remember when we first got Netflix before they did any internet stuff. And it was amazing! Because you're like, oh, I don't have to go to the friggin' video store to get DVDs. They just send it right to you. There's no late fees, you just send it back whenever you want. Yeah, they were... They were really, really, really good competition. Just for their own market. And then when the internet kind of took off with, um, streaming, then it was like, well... 
<laughs> you've got literally no reason to exist anymore, Blockbuster. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> yeah, Lafey sucked. I remember, like, sometimes accidentally paying as much as the movie cost in late fees. This is all too convenient. I don't trust him. Rei-chan! Be that as it may, he's at Naro's place right now, right? How indecent! The enemy may attempt to get him back. We should keep an eye on him, you never know. Yeah, you made sure to rewind the VHS before you returned it. Mm-hmm. Be kind or rewind. Uh, sometimes they would charge you money for it. <laughs> they would charge you like a dollar. Yep, and now a billion streaming services exist. How the times have changed. I still watch um, anime on VHS. Because that's just like how I remember it as a kid. I'm like, yeah, why not? They're cheap. I can afford them. So I've I've been collecting all the um all the anime I watched as a kid, and most of it I did rent from Blockbuster. That's usually where I got them. Cause you could order them like online. Well, not online. You would order from like an order form or whatever. But it was so expensive. You would order like, oh, I'm gonna get to get Macross or whatever, and it's like thirty dollars <laughs> for a single tape. In like 1994 money. Which is actually more like almost $50 now. T tell them they should trust him. Get angry at their coldness. Talk to Makoto and Min Minako. We should tell them they should trust him. I'll never stop buying VHS and DVDs. Hell yeah. I know. I, I just bought, recently bought some DVDs too. I got, um... Azamanga Dayo. Because I hadn't seen that in a while. Order Forums had some exclusive stuff that they never bothered digitizing too. Oh yeah. I got um... I'll see if I can see it from here. Mm. No, I don't... Oh, Dragon Half? Ever seen that? I don't think that's... Maybe that is on DVD. I have something over there. I can't remember what it is, but I definitely have something that only came out on VHS. That and I just kind of like how they look. Like VHS, or DVD is good for more modern stuff. Like the uh, two, early 2000s anime and such is good. But for like the earlier, like 80s and 90s, I much prefer like kind of how crappy it looks. Why would you trust him? Just because he tried to kill us a whole bunch? Ami-chan! Ray chan Even though you saw his last moments! You still won't trust him? Oh, was there orange Nickelodeon VHS tapes? I never had any, um... Any VHS tapes of, of like, cartoon shows. I had anime and movies. And even then, not a lot of movies. My parents had a ton of movies on VHS, but I didn't own very many. I... I... I hate you all! <laughs> Loading. <Hi>. Ah, whatever. <gasps> no! <laughs> Usagi! Oh, you have an orange Rugrats tape? Oh, that's cool. I don't think I had any colored tapes. Like, maybe... Well, I have a Ranma, uh, like, best of. That's, like, one of them's red, one of them's green, and one of them's blue. And they're kind of, like, semi-transparent. Mataku! 
The good burger on VHS? <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? Favorite movie as a little kid, Belle and the Beast, don't know why. Oh, uh, Beauty and the Beast? Like the Disney one? I can't believe them! How could they all be so distrustful? It's Chiba! Yo, what's with the bad mood? Mamo-chan! Uh, is that her house? Damn, she lives in like a friggin' mansion. Yeah, I really like Beauty and the Beast too. And um, Aladdin and Little Mermaid. I think those are some of my favorite Disney movies. Oh my god, the Amanda show. Oh, Amanda Bynes, right? I mostly watch, like, cartoon shows, but I did see a, a few of those, like, All That. Yeah, Keenan and Kel. Why won't you talk? I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, so she was, like, in love with him, kind of, even though <laughs> they were only together, like, a couple days, tops. But he, like, saved her, and then she was like, Oh, my hero, I love you forever now. Bring in the dancing lobsters? <laughs> that was probably a skit that I don't remember. Huh? huh? Did you get sunburned, dude? You look rather red. <laughs> Who's that? Attack first, think later. Uh, let's wait and see. Toonami giving us all brain worms for life? Yeah! Only on Toonami. Oh, I gotta move. Ugh. Oh, thank you for the follow! Marth167, how are you doing tonight? We're playing Sailor Moon. And talking about <laughs> nostalgic stuff from like the 90s. Every version of Tom from Toonami. I actually don't remember what that is. I have a very selectively good or bad memory. Was he the little robot guy? Let's wait and see. Mamo-chan, hide! Well, you went from red to green. Are you okay? <laughs> are, you, are you feeling all right? Are you sick? What's the matter, Usako? Just do it! I'm gifted and I still get ads would rip off. Oh, I'm so sorry! Someone gifted you a sub? And you still get an ad? What the hell? That's not cool. Wait. Yeah, they actually do that, don't they? Because I'm subscribed to somebody. And they, they still do pre-rolls. That's so shitty. Oh yeah, it was a robot host of Toonami. I vaguely remember that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here, even if you had to watch an ad to get here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I really wish I could turn them off, but... Nothing I can do. <laughs> I do have them down to the lowest amount. Someone's spying on Naru's house! It could be the enemy! Oh, thank you. I even remember when the original VA passed and they did a tribute to him. Oh! I don't remember him speaking at all. I just kind of remember him, like, standing there. And, like... I don't know if he had, like, a gun or something that, like, was shot. My memory is so bad. <laughs> Oh, wait, it's just Umi now. Umi now. 
Yeah, we can't forget about the Twitch overlords. They're coming to sell you, um... DoorDash? <laughs> wow! Uh... What are you up to, me now? I'm just spying. This was really the only character I gave, like, a voice in this one. Huh? <laughs> Be seinen? Really? Alright, did you know that a mysterious, handsome man is staying at Naru's place? Sleep's kind of weird if you ask me, but, uh... Get, how did you know that? The uh, spying, obviously. Tell you everything the most unrealistic person ordering food. <laughs> DoorDash could do anything. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I hate commercials now. They're so cringy. I mean, they probably were before, too. I was just younger and didn't really pick up on it. I mean, they definitely were, right? But like, gotta have my pops. <laughs> oh, Taco Bell, not DoorDash. Well, you can get Taco Bell from DoorDash, right? Still not happy with Taco Bell? They always messed up my order? <laughs> they messed up my insides. <laughs> And I, I don't know how many people know this, but not in like a haha -ha, funny indigestion kind of way. I mean, like literally, I went to the hospital <laughs> twice each time after eating Taco Bell. Josh knows all about it. <laughs> Wait, so you already knew about it? <laughs> Oh, I get it. You're here because it's been bothering you. Shouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's bothering you that your girlfriend is hanging out with like a 20-something-year-old man in her bed. <laughs> the, the way. It's not like I'm trying to peek or anything, even though I totally was, so that's how I know about it. <laughs> Is that so? Y yes. <laughs> okay. Seriously, quit skulking around like that. You gotta try to act more like a man. Does he? I don't know. <laughs> when Taco Bell screws up, they screw up bad. I don't. I don't know. It wasn't actually Taco Bell's fault. It was just my my own my own body hurting itself, but it was triggered by Taco Bell each time. So probably their food is pretty bad. In fact, you should come with us. <laughs> but I'm not mentally ready. <laughs> I SAID YOU'RE COMING! Are you sure that's a good idea? It's fine, it's fine. Hello, anybody home? Uh. Are you harboring the enemy in here? Oh, he's awake. Forgive me, I ended up getting you involved again. And yes, I am back from the dead, somehow. It's fine. Um... Um... Why are you here? <laughs> I want ground beef in my chalupa, I want steak steak. But ground beef is so much better. In my opinion. I kind of miss eating chalupas, actually. <laughs> They're very good. Here I am, back to life and talking to you. I never intended to see you again. C 
because I died. <laughs> you would have been better off if I had not. No, please, don't say something like that. <laughs> oh, so the anime girl is kidnapping that nerdy kid. And is trying to love that stop sign. Ew, no! <laughs> I'm nothing more than a traitor on the run. Kinda makes me even hotter, doesn't it? At this rate, you're going to? Oh, she's so cute. It's okay. As long as I can be here with you. <laughs> don't you, don't you like have a boyfriend? No, no, he's dead to me. Hmm. Almost kind of don't trust him. Are you willing to trust me? Eh. He's a pretty boy. Take him down. Are? Hi. I'm coming. Yahoo, Naruto! Yahoo, Naruto! Oh, it's you, Usagi. And Umi now? What the hell? I've got a hot guy in here. You can't come in here. You'll know I'm cheating on you. <laughs> oh, he was skulking around here, so I, we brought him along. Yeah, he looks real happy about it. Anyway, sorry, Naru, but we really need to speak with him in private. Sanjuin. Um, but why would Mr. Sanjuin need to speak with you alone, Usagi? But you already know that's not his name. Wait, maybe she doesn't. But she does know he's, like, evil. Or was evil. Why can't I hear this, too? Eh? <laughs> Tell a lie. Use Gurio. Um. Let's ask Chiba to help. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mom Mama wants to have a man to man talk with Mr. Sunjuin. <laughs> so you'll be leaving too, Sagi? Yeah, but I need to be there too. I need another excuse. Well, um... <laughs> That's a terrible lie. Mr. Sanjuin would really like to get you a present to thank him. Thank you for taking care of him. So he wants me to tell him about the things you'd like and stuff. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, really. Uh, oh well. Johnny! Okay, see you later. Get out of here. Cue the spooky music. Oh, Naru, who is that bad? Huh? Oh, uh, nobody. <laughs> the, the guy she tells you not to worry about. Can't hear it because your pornogam can't handle the info about Shrek. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Can't hear about what? Uh, what? How did how did it go? How did what go? Ah, uh, 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 well. Understandable. If I were in your place, I wouldn't trust me either. In fact, I don't even trust me. What am I up to? Who knows? No, it's not like that. I'll understand too, just give it some time. <laughs> Wow, it's serious. 
Answer me this. You're supposed to be dead. How are you here? Oh, the girlfriend couldn't handle the news that Shrek 3 was not good? <laughs> I don't know, after seeing Shrek 1 and 2, it really didn't surprise me. The Dark Kingdom should have been destroyed when Queen Metallia was sealed. I don't know why I sound like this. I'm not even a bad guy. I think I've met this man before. Tuxedo mask? No, even further back. A long, long time ago. In a gas, it's Han Solo. What's the matter? Can't answer. Cat got your tongue? See, mad, eat a Kit Kat, you're not you, and you're <laughs> grab a Snickers. You're a tuxedo mask. Eh, son of a bitch. Well, now I've got to kill you. The what now? The bloody opal, a beautiful crimson gem. In the one, it's oh wait, in the hands of one who possesses great magic powers, it has the ability to control the spirits of the dead, even bring them back to life. So it's the Dragon Balls then. So that's how you return from the grave. I am still angry. And tell me who brought you back and why. I, I wasn't the only one resurrected. A Jedi. Zoisite. Gunzite. And Queen Barrow. Yeah, they're all bra bu <laughs> brought back from the void. The what? Past wise men. That is his name. Really? His first name is Past? And his last name is Wise Men? <laughs> Hi, I'm Past Wise Men. <laughs> Come on down to Past Wise Men's electronic shop. We've got all kinds of deals. Uh, do you want a ham radio? <laughs> How did they escort, escape Lord Todd? I know, right? He usually keeps them trapped down there. <laughs> that is his name. I know it sounds like a joke. His aim is the silver crystal. That is why he needed us. Those who fought against the sailor soldiers in the past. Unfortunately, I don't know what past wise men intends for use to use a silver crystal for. I don't know, probably like rule the world or some shit. That's always what they want. <laughs> it probably sounds better in Japanese. Not really. Pasto Wiseman. Duck Kingdom. Oh yeah, can you guys hear it okay? I only know that Queen Barrel and her servants are planning a large scale operation. <laughs> They're reopening blockbusters across the country. I mean, to steal the silver crystal and bring back the Dark Kingdom. Blockbuster is known as the Dark Kingdom now. It is a tad low. Cough. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? Nephrite is saying, oh no, Nef- <laughs> Oh no, Nephrite, are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking me. Alright, that's a little loud. But- <laughs> Alright, so they screwed up the voice line there. Ma- Mamo, go get Naru, hurry! Uh, uh, of course! 
said there's a blockbuster in the void. <laughs> there is now. Hang in there, Nephrite. Take good care of him. Don't let him die. I will thank you, Usagi. Well, I'll be going now. Well, I gotta get back to my electronic store. What? No, I'm not. I'm not passwise. What, what, what made you think that? It's a completely different electronic store. Okay, bye. <laughs> Why does every villain want to take over the earth? I live here. It's not that great. <laughs> Yeah, right? Why? And why are they always like, yes, I'm evil? Like, I don't... I don't think you would just be unambiguously evil. You would, like, think you were doing something for... Like, good, for your purposes, right? I see ya! Bam, bam! Beep, beep, beep. Say the moon. All right, we'll save, and then I'm gonna take a break. Uh, I'm actually a little hungry, so I'm probably gonna grab something to eat. Uh, so we might be a little bit longer than normal, a little bit longer than the five minutes I usually do. Maybe like ten. Who knows? I'll be back eventually. <laughs> I think. Got it, Emmy? Alright, cool. I'll be back soon. I think I'm still awake enough to stream. Yay! Hello, Mega Greg. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry if you couldn't hear that. There's something... There's something up with the volume. I don't know why it's not working. Wait. Maybe I do know why it's working. Or not working. Maybe this got reset. Yep, it's changed. That's why. I don't know why. One of the settings got changed. So now this should work, right? I think. What? It still didn't make any sound. What the heck? Shout out Nebu Pukins. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to so show the same clip. I don't have it set to, um... I don't have it set to do always most recent. We'll try it, though. Rotational thing. <laughs> it just stops abruptly. And my gracious brother, Jeff. They're like, well, we're done dancing. <laughs> Incredible. What what system was that on? Were you playing like emulating the Sega C D? Or do you own it on original hardware? <laughs> Might be the actual steam. Oh yeah, I forgot. They did like kind of redo it some of it, didn't they? <laughs> Why is it still not making any noise? It's so confusing. Oh, I remember. I remember why. I have, there's a setting I have to change every time.
I'm gonna have to like write that down. Chat. Okay. Now it works. I gotta hit myself for everybody else. There we go. So so glad I remembered that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to change the setting every time. I will try to remember. I need to put like a note somewhere. The booba clip was on Gunslinger Gantz. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> I completely did not expect that. This came out of nowhere. I'm like, all right, I think I've seen this before, maybe. <laughs> that must have happened very recently. I will be right back then. Just a few minutes to... Gaming is fun! It is, isn't it? Alright, I'll be back soon.
I know, I'm back early. Um, <laughs> well, I went upstairs to get some food, and I'm like, oh, I'm actually a lot more tired than I thought I was. So, I think I'm probably just going to call it a night here. Got to where my head is now hurting, and I'm like, oh, I need sleep. <laughs> Um, but thank you everybody so much for coming out and chatting and for the follows all the new people showed up It's great I Can't believe there were so many people That does mean the end of the stream. I'm sorry. I know it's early, but I had a long night with um the charity stream yesterday and Then really didn't sleep well. I Wasn't gonna stream tonight, but then I really wanted to play this game <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and raid somebody. And as always, you don't have to watch who we raid, but I would appreciate if you stuck around for the raid itself. And you do get channel points, so why not? Thank you for the stream. No, thank you for being here. I wouldn't stream if there wasn't somebody to watch and chat with. So I'm very glad you're here. Alright, who should we raid? That, I clicked the completely wrong thing. <laughs> I'm not going to Reddit. Let's see, who do we got? Hmm. Do I even know who this person is? Maybe? Oh yeah, they were playing, um... They are playing something else. Well, I can raid in Vanya. I haven't done that in a long time. Oh, they've got a new, um... they got a new setup. It looks good. What's chat thing? Chat have an opinion? In Vanya good? Great time! I'm sure a couple of you know Invania. And those who don't will get to see her. She's playing Bayonetta. Alright, here's our raid message. Aid with love. And some Emi Akina hearts if you have them. And if not, the less than three hearts also works very well. We got six people ready to raid Vanya. All right, thanks again everybody for coming out. I'm not sure if I'm uh, streaming tomorrow or not. It just depends how I feel. Um, yeah. It was a good night. See y'all soon. Uh, uh, bye.